All right, everyone, here is my finished Alabrije animal that I have paper mache and painted. Now, before we um, get to this step where we're actually paper mache and painting and building, we have to go to the very beginning, and that is to find an image and print that image and outline some of the shapes that you see in your animal. So you can pick any animal that you like. I picked a dog. Um, specifically, I picked a pug. So um, choose an image of an animal in a position that you can see lots of the body parts. So I, ch I picked a position where the animal is standing up um, and kind of facing me on the side here. So you want to have the most information that you, ha you can possible so that you can build your animal in the end. So if I want my animal in the end to be a standing dog, just like this one, it stands up by itself, um, pick an image of a standing animal. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my Sharpie and outline some of the shapes I see. So really basically, I see a head, which is kind of like a big circle. Um, I see a body. So this body is kind of like a big long oval, okay? Or I can say, it, I can say it's made up of two circles together. Um, the legs here look like lots of um, longer ovals, so kind of like this. Maybe there's two parts like this. One, two. One, two bigger and then smaller one two um, I see lots of tinier shapes like I see some triangle ears and I see a long tail and that's about it um, I could also include the neck as maybe one shape um, maybe like a tinier little oval here so I'm not really gonna focus on the face too much just the bigger shapes of the body so once I really notice um, the types of shapes that I have in my animal it's time to start sculpting so I will put this aside with my name on it. And I'm gonna be looking at this while I'm doing some sculpting today. So I'm gonna show you a whole bunch of materials that you can use to sculpt today to make the shapes in your animal. So first of all, we have some newspaper and we have some foil. Newspaper and foil are great for sculpting um, odd shapes or shapes that are circular. So my pug is made up of first, um, biggest shape is the body and the circle head. So. I think I'm going to take my newspaper and ball this up and try and make the size head that I want first. So um, I can ball up my newspaper and then take my masking tape and really try and stick this ball of newspaper all together. So I'm holding really tightly and I'm sticking the tape down on all the sides of the newspaper so it looks kind of nice and flat and smooth all the way around. I do not need to cover the entire piece of newspaper with tape. That's kind of just wasting your tape. You just need to tape it enough so that the ball of newspaper is holding together. So that's pretty good. That's enough right there. Um, if you wanted to use your foil as well, foil makes um, good shapes that are circular as well. It will definitely be a little bit smaller though because tin foil likes to scrunch up a lot. So I can start with this as well and cover this in tape so it really sticks together. Um, so I have my head here and um, for my body, what I think I'll do is I'll just make two more big balls of newspaper and then I'll stick them together. So I'll have two for the body and then one for the head. So from there, there's a lot of other supplies that you can use for littler parts. Um, you might find some really odd supplies in your bins, like cardboard pieces that you can cut up. Um, you might find really odd pieces like old tape rolls, so stronger pieces. You can figure out what to use, what to use that for. Um, you might find some really odd pieces, maybe like an old roll from the tin foil. Um, if this is too hard for you to cut by yourself with your scissors, come see me and I can help you use a stronger scissors to cut these. Um, these might make really good legs if we can cut these down and make the shapes of the legs. So it's really up to you to be creative and find supplies in your bins that you think will match the shapes of your animal. So if I'm trying to attach two pieces together, um, what you really want to think about is um, when I'm attaching these two pieces together, maybe these are the two pieces for my body, you really want to make sure your tape goes from one piece to the next and sticks all the way around. So it goes from one to the other and it's sticking and pressing down with your hand. So then I'll keep going around and I'll keep doing pieces that go up and down. We kind of practiced this a little bit when we made those houses last year, those house sculptures. We practiced using our tape up and down and going around the two shapes. So once I've gone all the way around with my tape, I can take a longer piece now and go around this way to really seal it up. 
So the, the biggest thing to make sure of is that your sculpture pieces are sticking together and they're not falling off. You have enough tape where they're really um, stuck together really well. Because when we put the um, paper mache over this, if you have a piece that's falling off and it's not stuck very well, the wet paper mache will just make this fall completely off. So you really want to make sure it's stuck really well with the tape together. Okay, so let's get started with your image outline and then you can um, start your sculpting today and find some supplies if you're ready. <laughs> 